Hello, people. Uh, it's good to see you all. It's been a while since I've uploaded. Sorry, I've been in a mood since I moved. Anyways, um, my mom asked me, uh, she has this um, small camping light lantern, and it's a pretty cool little thing. It's cheap. It you know, has, I think, three or four, I think four LEDs, white LEDs inside of it down there at the bottom kind of lights up the whole thing and has it uses uh three double a batteries i have the idea of possibly using an 18650 battery and throwing it in there and a, a charger circuit anyways uh up here at the top yeah you can see that little hole well there's a little handle that goes on top it goes into that little hole and you can see over here focus 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 Okay, it's not going to focus. Anyways, you can kind of see that there's a nub sticking out right here. And the nub on this side broke off. See? There's a nub on this side and no nub on that side. So, I designed a little handle thing in uh, Tinkercad. Focus. focus I think I need to buy a better camera I dropped this camera and ever since I dropped it it's been doing this where it doesn't focus very well anyways so uh, anyways you can see my little nubs are on here oh wow it's focusing you can see my little nubs are on here well so I made it and then I started printing it out and this is it. It looks really great on this side, smooth edges and everything like that. But on this side... Wow, it's focused pretty well. That uh, nub sticking out this part. When it was printing it, it didn't seem to be like it was printing this piece as a piece, a whole piece with the rest of the handle and everything. It seemed like it was printing this separate, so I thought that maybe it wasn't joined, but whatever, it seemed to be joined well enough. It uh, freaked me out, because I thought it wasn't joined, and so I stopped the print. And so it has these little, uh, they, they call them trihexagons. The Jewish Star of David is actually pretty strong structurally. That's pretty awesome. I wonder which one's stronger, this uh, uh, tri what is it, tri hexagon thing, or a or a uh, or a regular hexagons like a like a bee's honeycomb pattern. Anyways, so I freaked out and stopped the print, but it actually fits inside there really well. Hold on a second. I'm gonna put this inside of here. I don't know if you can see this or not. Okay, I want to stick that inside of there. Stick this, stretch it a little bit so that this one goes, stretch it a little bit so that this one goes inside of here. All right. Yeah, let me turn this off for a second. There we go. <clears throat> so it works. It works. I was uh, going to reprint it and uh, make you know that big beautiful thing, but I actually had this idea that mom's actually pretty cool. She'll probably just tell me that it works right now, so this is good enough. <laughs> And uh, so I showed it to her, and she said, oh, hey, it works, it's awesome, and, and uh, I told her that I messed up and only printed half of it, and she said, well, it still works, it does the job. So 
so awesome we've got a little printed uh, handle on there so here's one of very few times that uh, a 3d printer actually helps out with uh, something in the house I, I yeah on the homestead Love you, little awesomeness. You're pretty cool. How many times have I flipped this back and forth in this video? More than enough. I'm sure you get the idea. <laughs> I'm just excited because there was something that my 3d printer could come to the rescue of and ever since I've gotten the 3d printer my mom has come up with a couple different ideas of things to make a couple things a couple things just a couple but that's pretty cool that she um, now that she knows that there's a 3d printer within her grasp she can come up with projects too okay peeps thank you very much talk to you guys later Goodbye.